Alright, so what's our formula for mixing? One, two, four. Right, so everybody's got that written on their hands, no problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a shovel as a measure. Okay? Now we have three shovels, so we're going to have to sort of jockey around a little bit about that. But once you get your uh, portion set up, you'll be all set. So the idea basically is for us to mix right here on this tarp the dry ingredients. And then we're going to pick up the corners and kind of mix it all up like it's a, a bag. Let's see, like shake and bake. And, and then we'll add water very gradually to make it a nice mix by using that. So you really need to have, uh, do we have any teams less than four? Okay, so you guys will need a little help uh, because this is a kind of a four, ideally a five person operation. Okay? Now one big guy can take two corners <coughs> or some woman with great upper body strength could pick up one side, uh, but you will need to have, uh, you know, three or four people to hold up the corners because you're going to kind of rotate this, and we'll show you about that in a minute, and then one person to add water. That's kind of the ideal situation. So uh, keep that in mind, and we'll do a little demo here. So the first thing is, usually, in most cases, you're probably going to have to make at least two batches. So could you describe uh, your project to us, what you're doing? Um, the intent is a wine rack. We've got three slabs. Base slab and two slabs over here. And you have to deeper out at the angle from the base. So that's your whole thing. That's our whole thing. That's great. That's like terrific. So, so what you guys might try to do is mix two batches. Try to get one big piece or the three small pieces done with one batch, and do the other with the other. Because trying to do the whole thing at one time is really difficult because it's too much to mix and it gets really awkward and heavy and the whole thing kind of collapses and it's unlikely that you'll do it and you'll end up with a little bit more you got to cast a second time and that's a drag, you see? So you're better off trying to do it in sections. So you do, you look at your object and say, okay, I've got two pieces or three pieces, so I'll try to mix two or three batches. That's the best way to go about this. Don't try to do too much at once because it really get bogged down. It's just not worth it, believe me, it's not worth it, okay? All right, so you guys, uh, let's try to do a mixture here. I suggest we start off, let's see, um, why don't we start with two cement, four and eight. Let's try that and see what we end up with a mountain here. So we're going to use that shovel. we got three shovels. So one person can do the cement, one person can do the sand, and one person can do the stone. Shovel's full of stone. Okay. Four, right? Yeah. Half a bucket is four. That's a good measure. You want to do it that way. All right, so we need two shovels full of cement. Hope this works. <laughs> two shovels full of cement. to get you four guys in the corners here. Are there four in your team of five? Four. Okay. So let's get a person in each corner. Let's uh, put some water in there. Now, the idea is, uh, this is really important. I know it seems weird, but this is really important. <laughs> Do not pick this up. The idea is you want to roll it. So you don't pick it up. Because if you pick it up, you're going to break these tarps. They're not designed to be picking up this kind of weight. So you're rolling it. So can you, can you guys just move this way? Keep it down, yeah. Keep it down. See? You're rolling it. No, no, don't pick it up. Let these guys go uh, this way. Then you guys go the other. Alright? Just keep going back and forth. There you go. You're not picking it up, you're rolling it. There you go. Okay? So clearly, this is the maximum that you can make on this on this guy. So keep that in mind, right? The most you can do is almost one bucket of stone, almost. A half a bucket of sand, two shovels of cement, that's the maximum amount you can mix at one time. Okay. All right, so we're going to add some water now. Uh, Henry, you want to uh, help out? Uh, that's a bit. 
Alright, so now you guys are going to keep this thing rolling nice and slowly. Try to keep track one side at a time. And Henry's going to add a little bit of water. Okay, nice and slow. Good. Now, when you're making these forms, you want to pour it in. It's kind of just generally get it in there, pull it up right to the top, because you're going to screen it off at the top, so you can kind of even it out that way. Looks like you got enough to go to do one of these other pieces. So now, listen, you guys. Uh, when this begins to set up just a little bit, because it's a little soupy, we can use a stick like this to begin to sort of screed off the top. Now, these guys, this is a little high, but that's okay. So, this, this is pretty soupy, but this process, you see how I can bring up the paste? See, this part's really smooth on this side. So that's what you want to do. You want to find a stick if you have an open top, and you're just going to screed this across. Right? That's the deal. You want to move this now this is going to be a little tough because I don't have anything to screed against. But <laughs> if you guys keep track of this as it sets up, you can kind of keep going back with a stick to smooth it out. But it's going to set up pretty fast. Remember, it's curing; it's not drying, and you can begin to sort of make that that surface real smooth. We should like. Uh, Does anybody have any questions? That's the deal. All right. And go. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> 